As mentioned earlier in this tutorial, DivePal includes a user-friendly online logging system that allows you to easily record relevant data and memories for your dive trips and, if you want, share them with your friends. To use the dive log, you must have an account with Dive Computer Training and log in to DivePal. DivePal logs can have three different levels of privacy, public, private, and buddies. The free DivePal Basic supports only the public level. If you want to mark your logs private or for buddies only, then you will need to use the full or Nitrox versions. DivePal also has different categories of logs, dive plans, virtual dives, and real dives. Each category may have an associated dive profile and or an associated dive site. Dive plans are plans that you manually create either because you are actually planning a dive or because you are learning something new and you want to see the concepts you are studying graphically, such as how the level of accumulated nitrogen changes during a simulated dive. Virtual dives are those created with the e-diving simulator. You can virtually visit a real dive site with e-diving, log your dive, and later analyze it with DivePal, and maybe even use the dive profile to plan a real dive in the same location. Real dives are dives you have actually done. DivePal has two types of real dives, those for which you manually create a dive profile and those with the dive profile imported from a dive computer. At the moment, to import a dive profile into DivePal, you must use either DivePal Windows or, coming soon, DivePal Mac. Later in this tutorial, we will see how to create a manual log of a real dive. 